Welcome to the stock workout where we flex on the market to make gains. In this video, I'm going to be speaking about Ocugen, ticker symbol OCGN. And guys, I am pumped about this stock. It is up 17.75% for the day. Uh, post market is dropped down by 5 cents. However, this will pick up. The action that we've seen in the day, we've seen a lot of uh, shorts on this, a lot of uh, sellers and post market, them sellers have disappeared. So this stock is now on the upswing once again. I'll be running through some news that's just come out. Um, we'll go through a couple of articles and then uh, we'll do some technical analysis and see where this stock is uh, at the minute and um, see what's happened today. So uh, to start off with, um, as you can see here, Ocugen shares rise 16% after partner discloses vaccine efficacy of 100% in severe COVID-19 cases. So as you guys know, um, Ocugen has partnered with Barrett Pharmaceuticals over in India and they've just released their phase three um, interim analysis, uh, second interim analysis for their vaccine. So Ocugen shares surged 16% pre-market after its co-development partner Barrett Biotech shared positive results of the second second interim analysis of his phase 3 study of Covaxin. Um, then it says Covaxin shows efficacy of 78% after the second dose in preventing COVID-19 and 100% in cases of severe infection. The efficacy against asymptomatic COVID-19 infection was 70%. The safety and efficacy demonstrated by Covaxin is remarkable because of the prevalence of several variants of the coronavirus circling at that time of the trial. So what this indicates is that um, their vaccine, the Barrett Pharmaceutical vaccine, which Covaxin um, is called Covaxin and Ocugen are partnered with Barrett Pharmaceuticals, it shows that uh, they were effective against the new double Indian variant that has uh, come out. So this is this is a great thing to see that the vaccine developed in India is effective against the double mutation um, that's happened within India as well. So really, uh, we will be covered against this variant and hopefully it doesn't spread as much as um, it, it could have done. So this is an article on um, seeking alpha um i'll leave the link in the description below for this uh then if we move on to another article here at yahoo finance um this goes on to say the same thing um Ocugen's covid19 vaccine co-development partner barrett biotech um shares second interim results demonstrating 100 percent protection against severe disease including hospitalization so this goes on to say a similar thing uh it does give a little bit more detail this article um i'll leave the link in the description below for this as well um so it, it basically gives the results it says how many um participants there were in their phase three clinical trial what their ages were um and that's basically it this article also then uh, gives a little bit more information about um, Covaxin. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with it, who are not familiar with this um, vaccine yet. So it gives a little bit more information about that too. Now, one thing to uh, be aware of is uh, this point here. Um, it says that primary efficacy in the second interim analysis demonstrates Covaxin to be 78% effective after the second dose in preventing COVID-19 in those without prior infection. Now, currently as it stands, that means Covaxin is the fifth most effective uh, vaccine on the market. Now, that's huge. Um, I think first comes as Pfizer and uh, second is Moderna and then um, there's a couple of other companies underneath and then comes Bar Biotech's uh, Covaxin, fifth most uh, effective vaccine on the market currently. So that's huge. And given the fact that Barrett Biotech is based in India and given India's population and their double mutation that's circulating uh, at the minute, um, this puts them in a, in a great position. And Ocugen having partnered with Bar Barrett Biotech, um, this is why we've seen such an increase in the share price. Then if we move on to the next article here, 
Um, it goes on to say another similar thing. Uh, all of these articles did come out today. It says Oxygen stock, the huge COVAX in news sending Oxygen climbing higher today. So shares of Oxygen are surging in Wednesday's pre-market trading. Um, Oxygen stock was up more than 8.5% at 7.15 yeah, in total it went up about 16% pre-market uh, for the day it's up 17.5% roughly um, so it just gives more background information about their partnership with Barrett Biotech uh, again efficacy of 78% it says over here um, against mild moderate and severe COVID-19 disease um, it's 100% effective against severe cases uh, and and it has a reduction in hospitalizations as well um, then if we move on here it gives a little bit of information here it says healthcare services across India are close to collapse as a second coronavirus wave that started in mid-march tears through the country with devastating speed CNN reported um, India reported 295,041 cases of coronavirus and 2,023 deaths on Wednesday, its highest rising cases and highest death increase recorded in a single day since the beginning of the pandemic. And then it says several million doses of Covaxin have been supplied and administered in India and several other countries with an excellent safety record, evident by the minimal or lack of adverse events post immunization. Occugen's um, partner said in, in a release. So, you know, bear in mind that India has the second highest population uh, in the world and the fact that it has just reported its highest daily case, cases and uh, daily deaths in a day, um, they are reliant, heavily reliant on this Covaxin vaccine being supplied to them. And the fact that Barrett Biotech is in India themselves, um, they are going to vaccinate their own population first before you know um before supplying this vaccine to to other countries and with the fact that they have a double variant in their own country um you know uh, a lot of vaccines need to be supplied so that means a lot of orders for barrett biotech and uh Ocigen. so that's that's basically the news um now if we take a look at the charts if we take a look at the charts i've got the hourly chart up at the moment um I've got the 21 day EMA, the 50, 100 and 200 day moving averages on the screen. Now, this is the hourly chart. I've also got the RSI and the volume here as well. So as you can see, um, if we start off with the volume, the volume for the day was 126 million shares and the average volume over the last 10 days was only 27. So nearly five times, five times higher volume roughly. Um, market cap sat at 1.22 billion. Now, you can see here on the day um, on this hourly chart pre-market we did gap up we gap up from around five dollars all the way up to um around this six dollars 65 cents um and then we did see a bit of a sell-off there and on the day we did finish at six dollars 50 cents so this is looking really positive right now with their results coming out obviously a lot of companies a lot of biotechs don't get through and don't get past the the phase three results um Ocugen and barrett biotech came out with brilliant phase three results uh, they're the fifth most effective vaccine on the market currently so we have seen that that share price and stock price hold uh hold is um above six dollars um and it did gap up pre-market now RSI has also picked up, so RSI is currently at 60. Um, volume has been low in the previous um, few days or so. Um, you could say a few weeks as well. Volume has been quite low. Now volume has immediately picked up. That is something we want to see because increased um, volume usually does push the share price higher. Now on this hourly chart as well, we have seen that the 21-day EMA has uh, just crossed over the 50-day moving average. Now, that is something that we do want to see. We want to see it cross over that 50-day moving average and then the 100-day and then the 200-day moving average. So this is a bullish indicator right here. Um, I'll just highlight that on the chart. As you can see right there, um, if I just zoom in, that 21-day EMA has crossed over the 50-day moving average. Now, um, I've zoomed in further, I've gone on to the 15 minute chart 
um, just for the day. And as you can see, uh, the stock did gap up straight away. Uh, it gapped up and then it opened over here at around uh, $6.75. Uh, we saw a huge sell off that would have just been profit takers, but we did hold this uh, line of support. We did hold this, we bounced off this. Um, we bounced off this in the pre-market and then bounced off this in the day as well. Now, this is a sort of um, an immediate level of support because this is the 15 minute chart, just the daily chart. So it is a very, very minute picture of the overall trend. Uh, it did bounce off this and then closed at $6.50. But I don't want to talk about this minute chart, um, this very uh, minute and microscopic chart too much. So I'm going to move on to the hourly chart. Once again, uh, as I said, this is where the 21 day EMA crossed over the 50 day moving average. Now, if we zoom out further and we go into the daily chart, a daily chart gives a much uh, better overall picture of the stock and of what it is doing. And on the daily chart, you can see that the stock has been trending downwards. So the stock has been trending downwards recently. However, the 21 day EMA did cross over the 50 day uh, moving average back over here, which was around the 5th of April. And the stock has been sort of trending downwards. This would have been um, attributable to like the, the, the broader market. Um, you know, everything has been selling off recently. Uh, sort of penny stocks have been hit harder. This is not a penny stock. Um, however, it is a, a smaller company uh, with, a, with a lower um, share price per share. So even this got hit quite hard and COVID-19 vaccine stocks have been fluctuating a lot recently. A lot of it is dependent on news. Um, so if a news, if good news for one company comes out, that stock price goes higher and then that might cause other companies to drop. An example of this is uh, currently right now with Johnson & Johnson, um, their vaccine being put on hold in different countries. Uh, it's, affected, it's affected Johnson & Johnson's own share price, but it has also pushed the share price of other vaccine companies higher. So this is something to bear in mind as well. So uh, 21 day EMA crossed under the 50 day moving average around here and we did see it trending downwards. Now it has held, the share price has held above the 100 day moving average. As we can see, it just sort of just, just about bounced off the 100 day moving average here and it has gapped up now. It has, uh, it has gapped up and currently is closed at $6.50. As you can also see here, the RSI, the RSI has recently um, in the past few weeks been trending downwards and now we've seen this uptick right here. You can see this uptick in the RSI right here and that's reflective of the price as well. The price has jumped from around this uh, $5, um, $5.10 ish range uh, up to the $6.50 mark. Now, um, I would call this a trend reversal right now. Um, over the past few weeks, we have been setting lower highs and lower lows. Um, however, now we have closed with a higher low. And also, if you look on the on the previous day, if we look on the, the day yesterday and the day before, um, you can see that it did hold this level uh, quite well. It held that 100 day moving average quite well. Um, yesterday's candlestick for the day, uh, this is the daily chart. So for the day, um, you do see that hammer formation right there and then now today you have seen us set a higher high um, and also a higher low now if I was to uh, give a first line of support I would call it down here um, I've switched back to the hourly chart to give you this first line of support um, it would be down here so if I just draw that and straighten it up a little bit um, I'd give it around there that's coming out at around five dollars uh twenty four five dollars twenty four would be your first line of support reason being is if you see here on this downtrend um the stock price was coming down here and it bounced off this level and then it increased again right and then it bounced it came back down and bounced off this level once again um, so I would call that a double bottom at this $5.24 uh, level and now hopefully we should see this stock price increase um, and go from here. So your first level of support, I would put it down here at this $5.24 mark. Now um, what I'll do is I will just mark it on the chart so you can see. So I've just marked it on the chart as you can see that $5.24 um, that is our first level of support. 
double bottom formation here and we have pushed through that so you know i'm bullish about this and i'm pumped about this stock up 17.75 percent for the day following that brilliant news um and hopefully from here on out we should see that stock price rise higher now um for the resistance level um i've drawn this line right here this would be our immediate resistance level so reason i'm saying that is because previously this line has acted like a support um it's acted like a support and we've bounced off this a few times um around this range here so what i would like to see is that this share price break through that level and turn that resistance into our support which it previously has been so this is currently at around the six dollars 55 range so we are pretty much there in the next few trading sessions we do want to see um the share price break through that and turn that uh resistance level into our next support because currently our support is quite quite um below the current share price uh the the, the first level of support that i'm seeing on this hourly chart is at five dollars 24 and um we are currently right under the the resistance level so if we can break through that if we can break through the five dollars um sorry the six dollars 55 mark um and turn that into our next support then from there on out we should see we should see that share price increase further uh so overall guys um i'm very bullish on this um, I've given you the support and the immediate resistance levels. That is the immediate resistance level um, that I've given at $6.55, which we are currently just under. So we do want to break through that. Um, double bottom right here. That's another bullish indicator that we've seen. We've seen that 21-day EMA cross over the 50-day moving average. So currently we are looking quite bullish. We do want to see that 21-day EMA cross over the 100 and 200-day moving averages um, in the coming trading sessions. We saw the volume pick up almost five times this 10 day um average so you know volumes at 126 million compared to the 10 day average at 27 million so all good things we are in bullish territory currently brilliant news that's come out today and i am pumped about this stock now if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and show some support drop the video a like too and i'll see you on the next one